I'm so excited for this Peacemaker show. So let's do this. Ha <laughs> ha. I like how they got the movie. You're shot and a building falls on you. And all you have to replace is a clavicle. You're the luckiest man alive. You're still going to have to take it easy. Try to avoid lifting your right elbow above your shoulder. That's right. Blush for shot his ass. Jamil. I don't have any read on you, man. That was a one-time thing. <laughs> You know, I never thought we'll see John Cena's ass in the show. That's not a CGI ass. That's his real ass you looking at. Dude, I'm fucking famous. Not that famous. Aquaman, he's famous. Fuck Aquaman. No. Aquaman reference, yes. He fucks dudes. He's got no problem with that. He starts fucking fish. Let's take it a step too far. <laughs> Bro, there's no evidence to back up that claim. He is not getting down like that with fish. You see my boy right there? That's who he getting down with. I made a vow to have peace. Bro, that's the exact same line he had in the movie. Who did he say that to? I think he said that to Ratcatcher, right? No? Rick Flagg? One of those people. Wait, his uh his costume should be like messed up, right? This man wears that 24-7, bro. He doesn't have like a suit or anything. Ah uh, shit. Mr. Mern? <laughs> This is iconic. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, this might be the greatest opening I've seen for a superhero show. This just knocked Smallville from the number one spot. Does this look like James Bond to you? Man, I want a champagne in the bathtub and some octopuses and shit. <laughs> I love her already. Well, I hope the minute's boy. She kind of looks like Zoe Kravitz. This is just a paycheck. It's just for now. I know. Oh, interesting. So whatever job she's working at, this is her first time working there? Damn, so he's not going to be wearing a helmet in this show? That's interesting. A peacemaker with no purpose. He's out on his lonesome. Stay where you are, Smith. Oh, shit. I'm fucking, I'm good. Fuck! <laughs> oh, four years, stay out of prison and work for me. Who is this? Mar. Poison Mar? Obviously, that's the dude that the woman in the front desk was texting. I report directly to Amanda Waller. This is she works for Amanda Waller. You may know what's to keep you from splitting. You still have that bomb in your head to track you with, and if that fails... Oh, damn, I forgot he still has the bomb from his head. He was in the Suicide Squad, obviously. Right. Shit, his ass gonna turn into Michael Rooker. Hey there. I just got stung by my dad's eagle. Who's the eagle? It's my sidekick. Oh, is that the eagle? The eagle that's in the trailer? That's some WandaVision shit, but scarier. <laughs> if you're gonna make up a person, why make up a person with such a long name? I'm so sorry. You're Wrigley old fuck. Damn. <laughs> Bruh, this actor's literally in everything. I just saw his ass in The Walking Dead recently. Shut up. Is that supposed to be Alex Jones? <laughs> you let somebody shoot you? It's not the kind of fighter to come shoot me, Dad. You say you let someone do that bullshit? <laughs> you know, I asked you to cancel my phone service, so it's still on. I've been paying for service for years because you forgot. Oh. What are you saying? It's my service. I got no money. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation is hilarious. <laughs> Eagle. That's incredible. Oh, no. Hey, new girl, get your shit off there. Damn. <laughs> I can relate to this black girl, man. She is a goat, bro. This is the worst HQ of all time. <laughs> Yo, I'm loving the vibe of this show, bro. Guy I was working with, Bloodsport. We find out he's got a rat phobia. Dude, I don't blame me, Giselle, but that was a lot of damn rats. Dad, Dad, you know how he got the phobia? Of course I don't fucking know how he got it. <laughs> I can't, I can't stop laughing, bro. Yeah? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Please, God, don't tell me he was the one who shot you. Yep. Yep, he was. <laughs> you know a lot of words. The hell? 
Look at all these masks, bro. You need to breathe underwater, and this is the one for you. This one has x-ray vision. They damn near look like all the same masks. Talking about if you need to breathe underwater. It's the same shit. Is that an eagle in his back seat? <laughs> I love our main cast so much, you don't understand. People see this uniform, it strikes fear in their hearts. What people? The other Please. People have... Eagly is your pet eagle. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you have a daughter named Daughtery? <laughs> <laughs> eagle much, and we'll do the garlic zoodles. Zoodles. Good choice. She kind of looks like Agatha from WandaVision. You take this home, study it. What is it? It's the Dalsian of the first target. U.S. Senator? Don't look at it here. Damn, they're about to off the U.S. Senator. This is some serious stuff right here. Oh, yeah. I love animals. Yeah. Hey, bud. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh. Married. Yeah. Cool. Oh, she's married. I'm in oh, that's my thing. That and having a big dick. Yep. Oh, my God. The comedy in this show is exceptional. I'm serious. It's too big, actually. It causes people pain. <laughs> hey, not gonna lie, it's pretty big, bro. I can't believe I'm even saying this, bro. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That thing is massive. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Pause, pause. So, where is she going? The Goldilocks. Can I ask you a question? Fam. Personal you space. Question about how to cure rotting fish breath? Sure. Fuck you, bitch. Bro, she about to whoop his ass. It's one thing for a dude to hit on you, then it's another thing when that same dude's breath stank. That's a damn shame. You know, you don't have to call me Peacemaker. You can call me Chris. I'll call you Peacemaker. You call me Harcourt. How's that? His name is Chris. Yo. If Peacemaker and her get together, that'd be freaking fire. I'm just trying to fucking have a beer, but whether it's those douchebags or you, I guess that's just something that I can't have in my life. I don't know. I wear makeup. Hey, bro, I... You can't be mad at her. Now, who is this? Bro, this man said freedom as he was tearing that ass up. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. How's your team? Okay, I guess. Myron, I hear I'm not such Is that Amanda Waller? As long as Shut up! That's her! Okay. That's Amanda's voice! Did my get you Hold on, so Amanda Waller, she's doing the same shit that she did with Peacemaker to her. Or with her. She always has that one person that's in the loop on everything. It's like the eyes and ears in case something goes wrong. That's interesting. It's goofy shit. Yeah. Does that say Wayne Foundation? Like I'm Bruce Wayne? Night, baby girl. Night, mom. That's her mom? Shut your freaking face. Bro, this shit is so dope. I, I, man, I'm already in love with this show. Oh, this, she just got a whole lot more interesting. Oh, this, this is my jam. You know, this is back when men were real men. Auto-tune robots dry up in the passes for music bullshit, right? Yeah, you ain't gonna get no emotional connection with her. Oh my god. I was having a crazy fucked up day, but when I was in your pussy back there, I felt... I don't know, fucking hope. <laughs> oh shit. I'm so scared right now. Oh! What the hell? Oh! Oh! What's happening? What is she? Oh, hell no! She looks badass right here, though. Give me some boom. Damn. 
What the hell? Eagly going to work, boy. That looked like a ferret's head. That episode was fantastic. I love the vibe of this show. I love the characters. Amanda Waller's daughter, bro. She's amazing as a character already, but after finding out that she's Amanda Waller's daughter. Come on, bro. I was surprised to see Amanda Waller in this episode. So in a way, I guess you can say that Amanda Waller is essentially doing the same thing that she did with Peacemaker in the Suicide Squad movie. Not necessarily her. She's not asking her to kill anybody, but she is privy to a lot of information that they don't know. The blonde girl that's part of our crew, she's dope too. I found that scene very interesting because I feel like a lot of women deal with that. They just want to just relax and just have a beer without being, you know, either stalked on or hit on, essentially. That's my reaction. If you like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And we'll be back with more Peacemaker. You don't want to miss out on that. Peace out.